Welcome back everybody to Make Sure Daily where you go to get your daily builds each and every day. Today we're talking about our first real program for the EV3. Today we're going to make it move forward and make it move backwards. What we covered in the last couple episodes was saving and loading your programs and then also downloading your programs to the EV3 itself, making the connections from your computer to the EV3 and downloading and installing the program from the LEGO website. So all those things, if you haven't seen those videos, go check them out right now because you're gonna need to know that kind of stuff before you get into actually programming the EV3 itself. So now we have the LEGO Mindstorm EV3 Home Edition program open and it's connected to the EV3. The EV3 is turned on. We can get to testing our programs and creating our programs. So now we're in our lesson four move.ev3 project. We're in the program called forward and you can just click on this button and add more tabs. And we're going to do the simplest move forward command. And that is move steering. So we're gonna grab that. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna send a signal to both motors. So we have two we have two motors on the bottom of our EV3 robot and it's going to send a signal to both motors to turn correctly and move this robot forward. So we're going to go over the different functions of this one drop-in program. So if you see here, we're on number of rotations which is actually the simplest way to control the robot, right? Yeah. You can use it as degrees. So you, if you want to turn one rotation, it's 360 degrees. You can also do it for seconds. So if you want it to go forward three seconds, you can program that in using the second command. But in this case, the simplest way to do it and the simplest way to control it with high accuracy is through rotations. So we're going to keep it on rotations. This is, are we going forward? Are we turning? Are we turning around? So if you want to make a turn, we're going to cover that in our next episode, but that's where you do that. This is the power. So if you want to put full power, you want to ramp this from 75 all the way up to 100. And we're going to cover how to do reverse next. But continue on, this is the number of rotations. Right now it's at one. But you can type in whatever you want here. We're gonna keep it as one, and we're gonna show you how far one actually goes. Then this is break or coast. So if you want your robot to go forward five seconds and then let it coast down a hill, you want it to be in this mode. But in this case, we just want it to go forward a little bit and then stop. And when you want that to go forward a little bit and stop, you want to hit brakes and forward motion of the robot itself. So it's all defaulted in this way. When you pull it from the bottom up, it's going to have those settings already built in. So if I want to get rid of this block, you can go there, pull it away, hit edit, hit cut, and it goes away. If I want to bring it back, go into edit, either undo it, cut, or paste it, and it comes back, okay? But we don't need that second block. We're just gonna experiment with our first block. Now that it's all loaded, are we all good? Yeah. So we're all good. And all we have to do is we can either hit the button here, which is download and run, or we're gonna hit the button here, which op turns it on and operates that program, correct? Yes. So now we can just hit, hit in this program and it will turn on the EV3, run the program, and then stop. It doesn't continually do it. If we want to go further, if we want to go faster, we can adjust this. 
and he goes faster a little bit not a lot i mean these motors are not not set up to go super fast and if we wanted to change it to seconds we're going to put it way over here because the second is pretty long so that's one second of operation that's two seconds of operation. So if you wanted to measure out, let's say you wanted to go so far distance wise, right? If you're in FL and you wanna go from your home base all the way to the one side, all the way across the board, you could just keep hitting this program, see how far one second or one rotation is, and then count out how many, correct? And we'll get into that further and then what you can do is you can make a program that will go instead of one second, one second, one second, one second, you can go five seconds or five rotations, which then gets you to the other end of the board, which might be what you're aiming to do. But in this case, we're trying to move forward, which we have achieved, and now we're going to do reverse. So we're going to follow the same instructions that we had for forward. We're going to bring up the steering, move steering. And then here, we're going to, instead of 75, we're going to go do negative, negative. Can I get the 74 without typing it in? Let's say 80. So it's going to go negative 80 for one sec or one rotation. So when I hit this button, it now operates in the reverse direction. And I can hit it again and it goes reverse, right? Yeah. Now you could also do negative rotations. We don't suggest that, right? No. We've run into problems doing it that way. In this case, we find that doing negative power to the motors is the best way to operate a reverse direction. Anything else, assistant? If your motors are upside down, then you are going to want to make That's sure right. every single time that it is either uh, negative to go forwards and positive to go in reverse. Now that is a very good tip because a lot of you out there that are creating robots in FLL create it with the motors upside down. And when you do that, you have to reverse all of your logic in order to accommodate the fact that you want to go forward. But in, in that case, when the motors are upside down, you really need to make sure that you have a negative power to the motors. So there we go. So we have our first program downloaded to the EV3. We're operating the EV3 to go forward and backwards. And now we have that fully developed in a way that you can go all the way across the FLL table or you can run a robot across the room, whatever you want it to do. We now have the ability to move forward and in reverse. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So now we're going to save that program. Always remember to save your project. And now that's saved and we can download it onto our EV3 as a recap of what we did in the last episode and now we have it fully loaded so if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more of programming with the ev3 for your fl please subscribe and you'll get more of these episodes anything else bye <laughs> okay we'll see you next time bye bye